My name is Brittany Gale, and this is my personal video review for Dr. Gerlich's Marketing 6340 Seminar in Marketing over Stephen Freed's Appetite for America and Katrina Parks' DVD, The Harvey Girls, Opportunity Bound. Stephen Freed's book explains the story of Fred Harvey, a poor English immigrant who became an extremely successful businessman as an entrepreneur. Some have said that he became the founding father of the American hospitality industry. He invented chain restaurants, hotels, and bookstores. Harvey also glamorized the train travel, as it was put by Jane and Michael Stern in 2010. He was very determined to keep the culture of quality and luxury in his chain businesses. Another thing Fred Harvey was determined to do is never turn away a hungry person, whether they had money to pay or not. He started the dining room when he sailed from London to New York, in 1853 and opened a lunchroom in Santa Fe's Topeka Depot. Many didn't like the idea of this dining room, but he became, but he then became the culinary light and learning. Jules Clapper, date is unknown, portrays the idea that Fred Harvey described the service and train depots as awful. The Stearns also mentioned in 2010 that Fred Harvey was the biggest brand name in America prior to Coca-Cola. Stephen Freed had followed the brand Fred Harvey and even after Harvey passed away, the company had been taken over by his son and then his grandson to ensure that it had never changed from the original brand. The Harvey Girls, Opportunity Bound by Katrina Parks, gave us a clear understanding on how women during this time period left the comfort of their homes by being a housewife to working in restaurants at the railroads. These women transformed the West by being a prime example that women can be involved in the workforce at an early time period. In Freed's Appetite for America, I really like how he separated the book into two parts, one from when Fred Harvey was alive, and the other part from after he had passed and how the company lived on even after he was gone. This allows the readers to understand how Harvey discovered America's service industry, as well as how America became familiar and aware of Fred Harvey and the work that he does. There were still hotels, there are still hotels from Fred Harvey that are still standing today, including La Casanada in Las Vegas, New Mexico, and La Posada in Winslow, Arizona. These hotels still being used today is be amazing, not only because it is a place to visit and tour, but also it's a piece of history that a lot of people don't realize. I highly encourage those who are thinking about visiting this hotel to read Freed's book, to really get all the history behind the hotels, as well as from Fred Harvey himself. I also agreed with the goal of the, the Harvey girls being, um, being able to help reduce tension and testosterone by adding estrogen. This was important to mention because it seems to have really helped the issue during the time period with the Civil War and everything else that was going on. This was so successful that the DVD mentioned how other businesses around the area started to hire Harvey girls, and this led to 100,000 women working in the workforce in a span of about 15 years. Incredible. On the other hand, I didn't really like how the Harvey Girls portrayed the fact that the women replaced African American workers at the railroad. This is something I really didn't agree with because the Harvey Girls were described specifically as non-African American, but a mixture of white, Hispanics, and Native American women. Queens of Vintage, Day Unknown, mentioned that this promotes cultural diversity in the workplace. Even though I agree with this statement, I do believe it undermined African Americans by being secluded. Fred Harvey was a huge inspiration to many people in his time era. He prospered completely different points of views than before he started sparking the hospitality industry. Not only did he do this, but he also created a huge desire to become entrepreneurs and the fact that it is indeed possible to do so even after the Civil War was occurred. This assignment opened my eyes not only to the successfulness of Fred Harvey and the history behind him, but also how he changed the people during his time period.